my dear viewers welcome to today's message today being wednesday june 26 2024 and this message is for all of us for each and every one of us i hope you will enjoy this reading my dear viewers i hope it helps you supports you understand where you're at what needs to be done what are the messages from the heavens for you what are some of the things in life that you're not seeing all of those things um should be coming in this reading letting us all know what are those things that we don't know that we should prepare for or even explaining some of the situations that we're in now my dear viewers today i'm starting with two messages for everyone starting with the first one and we've got gratitude you are going to be in a lot of gratitude for all the blessings that are pouring into your life. So much of that. One of the blessings, one of the main blessings that you are going to be grateful for is healing. Healing your heart maybe from different situations. Maybe healing your heart from disappointment. Healing your heart due to anger perhaps. Healing your heart due to loss. So there's a lot of healing going on. And in the process of this healing also comes a lot of blessings that are also going to be healing, bringing healing into different areas of your life. Different sectors are going to be healed and so many blessings. That's the blue bear, uh, bluebell, fa bluebell fairy all about gratitude. Let's see what else for today, for everyone. And we've got a new beginning with the daffodils. It shows a new beginning that's going to put an end to a chapter that was overwhelming you. It was too hard. There was too much going on, too much pain, too much anguish, too much exhaustion. It's coming to an end and starting a new beginning that gives you beauty, happiness, self-awareness, care and healing again. Wow, this is incredible. Now we've got the Chinese ear of the snake and the rooster here. If you are yourself or dealing with, that's been nominated here. People born in also in June who are Gemini, connected to Gemini Cancer, connected to those of you that are Scorpio Libra also there. Um, and that's that. We'll, we'll move forward. Now what I would like to talk to you about this next chapter is this area here. As you can see, my dear viewers, you've got seven cards these seven cards are seven messages for all of us, for the whole collective. You can, however, make them personal by asking something that you want to know and nominate an answer. Nominate whichever way you want. It's up to you how you nominate. So um, that's there for you also. Um, I should have put actually, but I didn't. I should have put two more. I could have fitted it. I didn't know if I could fit it or not. But I might do that one moment, my dear viewers. I might take just two. I'll add two more um, tea leaves to this for the collective. And there they are. They have just fallen out. Beautiful. We've got one and two over here. So these are all our messages. And feel free to ask a question whenever you want. As I come to go through them, I'll let you know if you're not ready to pause it pause the video and then unpause it once you're ready to to have a look at your answers so now that we've uh, established this what i'm going to do is try to take out two um, four important messages and then i'll go through them so the first one that opened up this is not a good one but it's part of life the four of cups shows sadness anger feeling unhappy feeling disoriented feeling unloved feeling what's the word really disappointed and sadness to the point where you're not in the mood for anything you don't want to accept anything you don't want to you're not seeing anything bright at this point in time but things are going to change i want to clarify and see how it will change so three more messages for the collective here we go we have the king of cups this is could be concerning people who have water energy in them like scorpio cancer pisces or it could be in regard to someone that you're dealing with that might have water energy in them. That could be a possibility. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so it shows that there is a, a big ending happening. Major transformations. Always transformations happen to bring you a new beginning. And you are going to be in gratitude for this new beginning because it is spectacular. There's going to be a lot of blessings. And that's why we've got the blue 
their uh, blue fairy which is all about gratitude so even though now you might not see it you might be feeling unhappy but you will be in gratitude for the blessings that are going to be pouring and right after this ending so many blessings are coming there's so much there so the ending and maybe that's why you are sad because there's something in your life that's coming to an end it's never easy to accept ending any kind of transformations because we are beings of we are beings of wanting consistency and we don't like change so whenever there's a change or there's a fallout or there's an ending it hurts no matter how important it is to our journey and our future but there's always that anger or resentment or disappointment that makes us continuously dwell on it and expand it which we shouldn't we should expel it and let go of it to be able to move on because it can only bring on sadness it can bring on darkness within you anger if you don't forgive the situation and let it go and sometimes it might be hard hard because you might be feeling i didn't deserve this why did this have to happen to me if you're able to forgive and justify that situation with forgiveness and seeing the good in that situation rather than all the flaws you'll be able to let go of it easy you'll be able to surrender to forgiveness and using your compassion it will help you move on and accept why things happen when you when you when you see these readings they explain why this had to happen there is an ending because there is something new distant either for you or for the person or for both of you so i feel like this is for everyone everyone so it's for you that there is a new beginning that's bringing you so much gratitude that you are going to be understanding why this had to end but now when you're in it you find it hard to resist the pain the anguish the blame and all everything that all those things that come those emotions that are overwhelming you so an ending is imminent to move you to the next level and we've got the three of swords so there may be hurtful words you may be feeling betrayed you may be feeling as though the wrong thing was done by you and when that happens in any kind of relationship um it looks like you are going to be working hand in hand with someone what you don't see coming in business perhaps but this shows to me this section here shows to me that you might be going through somebody might be hurting you with their words or betraying you betraying your trust maybe cheated you maybe these things happen in life when when something has been long overdue to come to an end and we've been all holding on to it because of not letting go of comfort so people usually you know nobody wants to really cause harm to another person intentionally things happen um because they are part of destiny it's all about divine timing when someone meets someone and they um they connect on a high level they're destined to have a future together they've got a mission together it could be a twin flame that they meet and that becomes a betrayal for you and you start hurting and something that you loved comes to an end but you don't understand that maybe even you for you there is someone better or there is a situation but or there could be a job that's better so whatever is, is ending here it's transforming to be honest with you it's not really ending it's transforming you transcending you to the next level where you will be in a lot of gratitude with the new beginning that's that's happening here so as you can see it's all explaining everything gratitude for the beginning that is destined for you that's what's happening here that's why something is ending and you know when we are in turmoil and consumed by anger and resentment and all those emotions of pain uh we find it hard to be in the right state of mind but always remember that you're not a person who likes to um, impose um anger or resentment on anyone so subconsciously you're just angry and that just that if you give uh to that feeling it can just consume you so you've got to let go by bringing by breathing exercises and being in connected to your higher self your higher self is a beacon of light so it will repel the darkness that comes from anger and resentment and bring you peace within and only with peace within you'll be able to move forward and heal and accept and therefore forgive and see the good things that you had in that situation whether it was a job whether it was a relationship whatever it may have been now 
Having said that, and also remember, they're letting you know, the heavens are letting you know they've got your back for a new future. There's so much, you'll be in so much gratitude. So that's there for you. Now, let's have a look at, oh yes, I've got to clarify. Okay, one moment. I'm going to take three more messages from this deck here. The truth. And we have the two of wands. So some of you are dealing with making decisions about leaving, relocating, moving to a better place. Let's see what else. We have the Knight of Cups. It shows that there is going to be a proposal or a proposition, one that's going to be wonderful, and it's going to be very hard to say no to. And it's destined, another thing. I feel like it's part of destiny. And talking about destiny, destiny should show up very soon. There is a chapter ending, the Ten of Souls, an absolute ending, karmic ending. It's a job well done and comes to an end. And if that job, that job had in a betrayal, so it was part of the deal that you had to go through, learn from the person that did the wrong thing, the perpetrator, let's call it, did the wrong thing and, um, you know, perpetuated this situation on you or brought on this uh, continuous pain. I feel like it wasn't um, deliberate. It was just part of destiny that it had to end. Something big had to end it. Maybe it was showing all the signs that it was falling apart and you should have left some time ago. And sometimes, like I said, people just stick to a place and they don't want to leave it, the comfort zone. But it was destined to end. And that's what we've got the Ten of Swords here. So the true matter of this, what you don't see coming, you are going to be given a lot of strength and power with the strength card, the power, the courage to move forward. It is going to take a lot, but you're finally going to do it. This is all about a relationship that is meant to be. A decision is calling to be made in regard to a distant relationship, someone from the past life. So whether it's yours or the person that you're dealing with, something has to change. And that's what this is all about. Okay. Now. This is what you don't see coming. I'll just put it over here. This is part of this. All right. Now, my dear viewers, what we're going to do is go through these messages and see what they have for us all. So this is the time. If you haven't prepared your questions, this is the time to prepare them. Let's start with these ones here. The first one, we've got hills. I'll just put my glasses on. Hills are things are about difficulties. They're obstacles to overcome, difficulties to overcome. You will overcome them, though. That's the thing with the hill. Now, we have February. February is uh, going to impact your life on a grand scale. Maybe by February, you're planning things to do in February. February is also about people born in February. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Capric um, not a Capri J um, Aquarius or Pisces. And um, I just feel like there could be... Uh, something to do with February also or someone born in February okay let's start with this one here now let's have a look we've got treasure worry-free finances worry-free money coming your way and a lot of it there's money is going to be plenty of money in reserve a lot of money is coming coming <laughs> and I also feel like there may be careers that you might be considering in executive positions um, sales um, planning uh, Planning with a lot of money what to do. And there's a lot of hidden talent being discovered. Or you might discover something hidden within you that you want to do or put into action now that you have all this money. Let's have a look at this one. It says chess, a strategy may be needed. This is about money strategies. And it says why spending and long term, long game, um, thinking about the long term and, you know, thinking things through and bringing strat and using, implementing strategies. Now, it also shows that why spending is important, careers in things like leadership, management, military, defense. It could be something like that also in regard to the chess. So we'll take this one here now. And it says, magnifying glass. This is about getting more information. It's very important. Having the proper clarity before you endorse something, before you accept something, before you uh, take any action. Very important details. Do the research. Documents, examine everything, the fine print, the larger than, because there may be things larger than you can imagine. So the fine print could be larger than life. So do look at everything. This is connected to a challenge maybe that you've been overcoming or trying to overcome, facing. Um, it is connected to 27, number 27, 27 days from now, 
something could be 27th of July or the 2nd of July maybe even um, or the 9th of July so around July uh, or even now but you know start the prog the process of um, getting important details and researching documents and examining finer prints do that from now from today you need to do that before you put your signature on anything or accept anything documentations uh, connected this is connected to people that are like people that are virgo libra in them connected to people that have cancer or um, leo in them people who are again um we had february here which is uh, aquarius and pisces um connected from now to september july including okay very important now we come to this one and it says this is number three and it's all about feelings it says i feel the sexual energy between us yet it's beyond physical attraction beyond physical attraction it needs to be evaluated sorry not evaluated elevated it needs to be uplifted elevated to the expression of deep unconditional love how beautiful is that deep unconditional love so this is saying that someone wants to really elevate their sexual union to make it so incredible to turn to unconditional love so that that is wonderful and um this is connected to people that are born in the chinese year of the tiger people who are have pisces or aries in them uh, this is also about three three weeks from now uh, up to three months from now to three months which will be september okay but you've got three days and three weeks in case this takes place now let's have a look at this section here it says it's the perfect timing now now is the perfect timing so from now everything is igniting you will be in gratitude for what's happening there's going to be a not something that will it's unstoppable something that's beyond beyond that's what i said there's going to be a proposal that's going to be unstoppable you can't say no to it it's going to be so um so wonderful that you will you won't say no to you'll just grab the opportunity you'll see it as an opportunity it's something that will it shows here that something that will um stand the test of time and this is something to do could be with your past this could be um your soulmate that we were talking about that is very very close to being a soulmate situation because um this one here where it says it may start a sexual union but um we want to uplift it to unconditional loving um this shows that there could be a connection from past lives so this is something that's going to go the long way all the way into your future someone wonderful is entering your life or someone that you've already been with you're realizing that this is going to uh, transcend to higher levels the situation the sexual union if it's just a sexual union i do see that you'll be overcoming a challenge i do see a new beginning starting um and i see about 19 could be 19 days from now something is going to ignite about this and you'll know starting from today up to 19 and going all the way into october this is divine timing now for you to take action something wonderful is starting you're overcoming a challenge and you're starting something magnificent but there is something ending here again chinese year of the monkey here chinese year of the rat chinese year of the rooster over here i forgot to say the chinese is the horse um the ox buffalo and the monkey and over here tiger i just say the tiger oh my god we've got the tiger again number three chinese zero the tiger we've got three weeks from now and it says i'm trying to figure out this connection i've never experienced anything like it before and this is again showing that this sexual union again it's connected and look at them they're both three right connected to people that have pisces or aries in them connected to chinese zero the tiger showing in three weeks from now up to three months up to september realizing or exploring this connection and knowing that it's nothing like they've had before you've never had this before and ultimately realizing that it's beyond uh, sexual physical attraction this sexuality this deep sexual union between you and someone it's way beyond physical attraction and ultimately uh there is the expression to elevate there is a need rather a need to elevate uh, this situation this love to unconditional love where you want it forever where it's going to be forever how amazing is that how direct and to the point
For those of you who are going through this, you must be astonished. Now, we have the ship, and again, number three, Chinese Year of the Tiger again. We've also got the rooster here. We, I see an ending and a new beginning. I see going places. You'll, you know, you'll finally know you're going places. Some of you are taking adventure. Some of you are taking a vacation. Some of you are taking a, a, a trip, a road trip by vehicle. Some of you are traveling by ship, by ferry, or by um, airplane even like you know um this is about taking a new adventure this could be a new enterprise that you're thinking of doing um could be connected to air energies such as aquarius gemini libra could be connected to uh, pisces aries could be connected to scorpio libra travel and travel overseas also is there and i've got three three to ten days from now weeks from now and it could be up to October, from now to October. Also, that's a possibility. So that takes care of all that. Now I'm going to start clarifying everything. No, I can't. I've got to get some more cards. So let me take... Okay, so we have got an idea about this. I'll just put this over here. Move this over here, perhaps. And the timing. And I'm just going to make one room for one card here. Let's see. Two messages for the whole everybody to everyone we've got the first one wow we've got the golden rings this is about a great connection again a long-term connection one more and the other one has opened up and with oh my god divine timing so divine timing we've got this twice and this shows that the time was the clock this is all about timing right now this is a time where divine is intervening divine intervention in your life it's time to profit Divine timing is now seize the moment. Take advantage of the moment. This is the time now, starting right now from today. Something wonderful is starting and this is where probably all the gratitude is coming. Now this could be in connection to a business deal. This could be in regard to agreement. This could be in regard to the proposal that we were talking about before. Remember I said, okay, I'll put these around this so you can understand. There could be a proposal here. I'll just put the clock one second. I'm just fixing them for you. Now, there could be a proposal, my dear viewers. There could be a proposal that divine timing is now. They're saying take advantage of it now. This is going to be long term. This is about an agreement, partnership agreement, trust and connecting, making connections and making permanent ones. And the divine timing is supporting this. They're saying go for it. This is a time to benefit, whether on, on the material sense or on another section, another level. This is the time perfect timing for you to take action this is something that will withstand all the test of time so this is again showing me it's unconditional loving or if it's a business proposal it's going to stand the test of time so it could be both for different people with different things but the majority it's a proposal where it's going to take you to the next level and you can't refuse it you really got to look at everything and that's why you need to see the finer prints the finer prints with the magnifying glass will tell you where to sign, not just sign on the dotted line, make sure you see the finer prints, you look at everything, you examine everything to the letter with the details, researching without stop so that you don't make any mistakes while you're signing up. Whether it's a lease, whether it's a new home, whether it's a new relationship, whether you're getting married, whether it's a business partnership, whatever it may be, there is gain for you, there is happiness, there is long term. But you just got to be 100% on what you are dealing with. When there's documents, remember that. So yes, it is an overwhelming, an overwhelming, incredible opportunity coming your way. And the divine timing is right now. So with the golden ring, it shows also financial commitment, long-term investments, right? This is about long-term investment, whether it's going to be with a person uh, or pa a partnership or a business partnership or love partnership. You are going to be together and there's a very fulfill, fulfilling outcome. Remember that. A great fulfilling outcome. So in regard to careers also, there's about partnerships, you know, having your own, starting your own business, working together. Remember I said the three of pentacles showed itself. There could be a chance there where you are working together. Even if you are separating, for some of you, you might be leaving each other, but the work is still working together. Okay. Divine timing also has to do with the waiting is over. You don't have to wait anymore. This is the time. Seize the moment. Take advantage of the moment. And it shows temporary work for some of you. And some of you 
either losing your job, being laid off, but even that is happening to move to the next level. Remember, whatever is ending, where's the death card? The here. Whatever is ending, it's happening because there is a new beginning. A great new beginning where you are going to be. You are going to be what? In gratitude for. So you are going to be in absolute gratitude. A lot of blessings, even though there's going to be an ending. There's a beautiful, positive, heavenly, positive new beginning filled with so much adventure for you. Excitement and blessings coming. So that's great news. Absolutely wonderful. All right. Now that we've done this, I'm just going to take one more from this level. One second. Here we go. One message for today for everyone. Oh, two of them came. Right, okay. It says, look deep within you. Le look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is for those of you who may not be feeling love. This could be for those of you that somebody is really proposing to get you to understand how deep they much, how much they want you and how much they love you. This could be about a soulmate also, an incredible soulmate that's coming your way. Someone that wants to transcend your sexual union to um, the higher level by proposing, perhaps. This could be an incredible um, someone that you haven't met yet, that they're on their way also. Someone that will love you unconditionally. They have a very deep love for you, very deep. That's what's coming. Okay, so I'll put this one over here. No, sorry, over here. That's it. Okay. And then the other one, it says embrace. Through each other, you will find the missing pieces. And that's what happens with soulmates and twin flames. So I feel like this sexual union might um, move to the next level, a level of healing for both of you. That's why it's needing to move forward to unconditional loving i also feel if any kind of proposal or partnership or business that might happen um, any kind of strategy that might be implemented or together and partnerships being put together i also feel that too um, you will find the missing pieces in a partner where you will be working in partnerships together because the lovers is also a partnership it's not just the lovers as in lovers it is about partnership so is this one partnerships You'll be working well together in partnerships, implementing um, strategies that are going to work for you and divine timing is now where you will make a lot of profits. A lot of profits will be made at this time. And if it's a relationship, there's going to be unconditional loving and long-term loving. And when there's unconditional loving, I guess you might know what that means. That means like it's endless, endless amounts of um, of happiness because it's unconditional nothing can stand in your way absolutely nothing so you can see how this is going to be this state of being is going to change to something magnificent let's have a look at two more messages and i'll clarify the cards we've got one and there's the other one okay it says release your ex release your ex the time has come to clear your energy because you're destined for someone else. And that's why this is all about. This is about clearing the energy, letting go. Because you're destined for someone else. And those who are staying behind, they too are destined for someone else. So it's a two-way road because this reading is for everyone. So the one who's first, who got the first person, it doesn't mean the other one will suffer and will be just there crying. No, it just means someone might be the first one who has met someone and they could be moving on and in the in the process of someone else being really sad and grieving the loss of uh the person they're losing or the situation they're losing they're meant for something more wonderful and that's what this reading is saying to me overall it's saying that through an ending an incredible new beginning that's going to bring gratitude and blessings pouring into your life is happening and divine timing now to support you and give you everything you need and it says, give your relationship a chance. So some of you might meet someone that might be a little bit different. It says, work on your partnership. Some of you need to work on your partnership because there's hope probably in this still. Maybe you were consumed with work and now you're realizing you're, you're losing this person. You need to come to terms with healing, seeing videos that will support you heal. And I feel like, you know, give your relationship a chance. It's for those of you who might be, uh, misinterpreting something 
not every relationship is coming to an end, but it could be that some of some relationships are about to turn to an ending and then they can be salvaged by you giving it your best, studying, watching YouTube to find the best way to move forward. And for others, it says release your ex. So that means there's no hope in a relationship. It is ending and it's the divine timing now for it to end. So let's have a look at now clarifications let's see we've got the 10 well, the reason i say that not only the three of swords is an ending and then we've got the we've got the 10 of swords and then we've got the uh the um the death card which shows to me like this is something that's 100 percent. it's like part of destiny it's something that's got to come to an end without any doubt absolute ending so i'm going to clarify and we'll understand things better starting with the three of swords no, actually, the Ten of Swords, I'm sorry. This should be here. Ten of Swords. Let's have a look for the collective. What is this all about? Right, this could be in connection to someone of Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody that might have Fire or Earth Energy in them. It's an absolute ending for this uh, relationship. I feel like this person has been very supportive. This person has been... Uh, very uh, also very um, down to earth and helpful I think it wasn't because it's their fault that they're ending I really feel that it was divine timing for this ending to happen it was something that was destined to to come to an end it was all about timing so that's that one but that could also mean that you could be meeting someone new I'll find out more hidden matters are coming to light a lot of truth is going to heal you to see forward how you move forward. Everything will be okay. You'll see that you're destined for something better. Let's have a look at the Three of Swords. That could be in regard how you feel, why you're feeling sad and grieving. Well, it says this grieving that you're doing and this ending, separation, is all happening because a wish that you've had for the longest time. You've had something you've always wanted. That wish is coming. And the wish is starting something new. Either someone new or something new is coming in your life. A new situation is arising and it's connected to your old wish. That's why this separation is taking place. This ending, this painful truth. It is a painful truth, but it's happening for a good reason. You are destined, this separation, you are destined to get your wishes and dreams come true. This is what you don't see. Well, a lot of your desires are going to be met. Now, let's have a look at the four opportunity the four of cups feeling sad and grieving the loss of yes you are grieving the loss of someone leaving relocating and yes there's a lot of conflict because of a lot of conflict a lot of disagreements you're not on the same path anymore it could have been wonderful when it started but maybe now you've reached a level where it's sort of like you're going on two different directions, wanting two different things. And sometimes that's why disagreements happen. You know, we see them as painful, devastation, cheating, betrayal. They don't love me. You know, start blaming yourself, feeling uh, that you're not good enough. It isn't that. When things are destined and destined to end because people are parting ways without even knowing by what they want in life, um, brings on a lot of conflict. So the conflict is the reason and the disagreement is making this decision to leave a situation behind and move forward, relocating to a better place, to a better position in life, moving away, because there is something wonderful about to start, something incredible, the beginning of happiness and prosperity coming for everyone. Now, that explains that. Let's have a look at the lovers and the decision that's being made in regard to this partnership, the truth about the lovers for the collective. And we have... Unexpected amounts of money coming your way, ground changing money. This could be the reason that uh, I feel like this is to do with relocating and to do with something buying a new home, maybe considering buying a new home. This is about your foundations and a lot of money coming out of the blue and helping you move forward, giving you the power, the control over your journey, over your life, being able to do things. This could be also connected to people who have Aries in them. This is also about um, having the power and control over your life and putting your foot down and saying, this is what I want. Yes, I want this. Um, for perhaps uh, in regard to decision making, you know, somebody might be saying, you know, let's get, let's move this to the next level. I feel like, yes, it is. For some of you are thinking, yes, I will, but I still want to have my power. I still want to have my independence. 
Um, yes, I don't mind living together if it's a living situation or starting a business together. But as long as I still don't lose my power, I still want to have my, you know, my um, stability. Uh, I feel like somebody could be in the process of buying a new home here, the foundation, and moving with the two of wands. There could be someone in the process of moving and they might suggest an offer, come and live with me. Let's live together. Let's move away from where you're living. Let's get together. Let's start a life together. And the other person is saying, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, I'll make that decision. Just bear with me because I'm in the process of maybe buying something or let's buy something together. Or let's put our money together and buy something. But I still want to have my power, my freedom. I don't want that to be taken away from me. And and that's probably what's being discussed in overall. And this could be in connection with someone of Earth energy or might have Earth in them. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone that's very hard worker. They work very hard. Okay, now let's have a look at the two of wands, the relocation. You see this one here, the relocation. This has doubled up. That means many of you are in the process of moving. Let's see what this is all about. And this is connected to this proposition, the moving, the proposal, and there's destiny. This is all about destiny controlling situations. Let's have a look at the Two of Wands for the collective. And wow, this is beautiful. This is about happy ever after and commitment. Committing to doing the right thing. Commitment. Starting something, you know, what, using your wisdom to do the right thing. Moving up, upgrading, your, your, you're elevating your vibration, your thoughts, your commitment, doing the right thing and being very happy. That's what's going to happen. Wherever you're going, this is in regard to re relocation, wherever you're going, whatever step you're taking towards moving, relocating, you are going to be very happy. It's showing that on a high scale. On top of the gratitude, there's going to be extreme happiness coming your way. So divine timing, money, happiness, and a lot of gratitude, all happening for you on a grand scale. And perhaps even moving to a better place, my dear viewers. So divine timing now, and there is proposal. On top of gratitude, I've got this up because of the gratitude and the blessings that are pouring in. And then you've got um, a great proposal, one that's going to be so inviting, no one will say no to. So there's major changes, and they're all spectacular. Each and every one of them has got their own... Um, wonderful uh, blessings that are coming in. So an end of a very suffocating chapter comes to an absolute ending. Right. Wow. Let's have a look at this proposal. The Knight of Cups. Proposition, proposal. This is all going to be very rewarding and it's connected to someone that has fire energy in them. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, either one. A great victory awaits you. A lot of rewards a lot of happiness, a lot of applause and recognition for who you are, what you contribute, and everything that way. Again, a chapter that was very overwhelming comes to an end, absolute ending. They keep repeating that. So that's wonderful. And a, a harsh situation is going to come to an end. Let's see the strength and the courage that they're giving you to move forward. This, oh, wow, this strength and courage that's happening it's regarding, look at this, we've got the lovers here twice, right? The courage we're talking about and the strength, what this is all about. We've got the lovers and we've got something collapsing. So it's about leaving a situation behind and starting somewhere else. It's very, very difficult. I can understand this. So the lovers, and I think it's all to do with timing, divine timing right now in the situation of lovers. One is ending and another one is starting. And the reason I'm putting in the strength here, because I asked about strength, the strength and courage and the challenge that you'll be seeing is overcoming and leaving a, uh, a situation behind you. This three of swords, this four of cups, it's all about these two here. You see, this is coming to an end. There's a chapter coming to an end that's going to be very sad, very painful, grieving the loss of, but you have no choice because it's divine timing right now to go through this separation. Something has no future anymore. You, Like I said, you're on two different paths can't agree on things, there's conflict, it has to end. And the decision is going to be calling for you to make, and you will make it. And it is going to be, you are going to be given the strength and the power to move away from this. But remember, the outcome, because that's all that's important, the outcome. And the outcome is about your wish being granted, and it is about happiness. What's happening here, the timing is right for you to be absolutely happy, 
and getting all your dreams and wishes established. So your decision is going to be based on a lot of um, divine, divinely guided. That's what I'm trying to say. It will be divinely guided. You are destined for a lot of happiness. And that's why you've got the gratitude. Because you will be in gratitude for all the blessings that are coming your way. Because of the happiness and the decision you will make in regard to moving. Taking the next step. So that's magnificent to know. Again, it shows over and over. There's a lot of blessings, a lot of gratitude, a lot of blessings. And you are going to be grateful for getting your dream home, getting your dream life with someone and establishing all that you want. There's so much that's going to be celebrated. And this could be in connection to those of you that have Virgo in you. Virgo is celebrating big time. Some of you could be um, celebrating an engagement, a marriage, getting together, planning a home, buying a home together, something magnificent. All your answers will be answered. All your questions will be answered, sorry, very soon. So finally, let's go and see the death card and see what the death card is all about. Right, the death card shows a very quick answer is going to come. A very quick decision is going to be made. There's the green light to go ahead. No more sacrificing. Somebody's already been sacrificing. The sacrificing ends and it takes you to the next level. Again, connected to Virgo very strong burger answers to your questions are coming how amazing and there it is even though you're leaving someone behind you are sad leaving that person you're not happy but you have no choice you have to go in search of your emotional happiness and you've already found it now let's have a look and if you haven't found it if you're still grieving the loss you will find it very soon in the next beginning once you heal let's have a look at the knight uh, the king of cups for the collective right this shows a great victory, overcoming a challenge, broadening your horizon, opening your mind to moving to the next level, advancing your thinking by maybe starting a business. There's a lot of rewards coming to show you it's the right time now to take action and to move to the next level, or move to the next chapter. You are going to overcome a challenge and become victorious. There's a great victory for you, especially those of you who have water energy or dealing with someone that has water energy. And justice is going to prevail for sure. Without a doubt, the sun is going to be shining in your path all the way. And this is happening very soon. I'd say within 14 days, you might see, um, I'd say within three weeks. Let's say that. Three weeks, you will see a lot of, okay, that's the end of this one. Three weeks, you will start seeing what I'm talking about. All taking place. Let's see two messages from the um, Chinese cookies for the 26th today. And there's the other one. Okay, let's read them. Bear with me. Right, it says personal riches. It says small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on their way. Remember that. So we have the money here. Smaller ones. This could be just like, this is already like foundation changing. Buying a house, paying off a house, mortgage, getting a lot of money. Uh, inheritance or somebody giving you a lump sum for a house or something like that small successes are likely now bigger ones are on their way remember that finances could improve dramatically finances could improve dramatically but avoid any kind of get rich uh, scheme get rich get rich quick scheme money and happiness and buying your dream home is all possible now because divine timing is there now to give you all the happiness that you need in buying your own house or paying off your house or I, I feel like it's, there's a buying of a house of some sort for these two to unite and divine timing in your money to make a profit at the same time wisdom it says to focus on the past is to lose the future remember that focusing on the past and what you lost will only make you lose what is coming so heal from it forgive and let go surrender the past I always say that surrender the past no, may, no, may, no matter how hard it may be no matter how much we cry but when it's time to surrender the past you've got to surrender to focus on the past is to lose the future listen to advice from an older person which will allow you to move on whether there is an older person or whether it's me <laughs> listen to me and let go of the past okay and that's the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it supported you to understand what's coming in your path, where you're heading, and how everything is going to get better and better for you. There we go. I should have done that, actually. I'm just realizing. Okay. 
Uh, my dear viewers, do give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end in support of me. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.